Hey guys, and welcome back to Simple Confections. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this simple chocolate pudding without eggs, without gelatin, and a few ingredients you probably have in the kitchen. I know a lot of you reached out to me and are complaining about recipes out there that uses 16 eggs and eight, and like eight egg yolks and six egg whites all in one recipe, and I know in this quarantine life we all have right now, we cannot afford to use so many eggs in one dessert recipe. So I came up with a recipe that uses a few ingredients and that will also satisfy your sweet tooth. So come on, let's get into the kitchen and get started. Okay, let's gather our ingredients. We're gonna need one cup or 250 milliliters of heavy cream, a quarter cup or 20 grams of cocoa powder, two cups or 450 milliliters of whole milk, a half cup or 60 grams of sugar, four tablespoons or 30 grams of cornstarch, and a half cup or 100 grams of dark chocolate. Okay, so first, we're gonna heat up our heavy cream in the microwave, so pop this in for about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, I already done that, so pour in the heavy cream in a bowl and also your cocoa powder. And give it a mix. Mix it until it's pretty um, smooth and you don't see any dry cocoa powder anymore. All right guys, this looks about ready. If you see any um, lumps of cocoa powder, you can definitely use a strainer and strain it out. But for me, this looks good and we're gonna put this aside. All right guys, the next part is super easy. Don't blink, you might miss it. So you're gonna put your whole milk in a large saucepan, the sugar, and the cornstarch. Got some chocolate over there, it's all right. Okay, and then give that a mix. All right, so after that, you're gonna take your chocolate mixture that you did before and pour it all in. Okay, and you're gonna give that a mix. All right, so we have this all incorporated and now we're gonna bring this over to the stove. All right guys, welcome to my stove top. Uh, excuse the mess, it's kind of dirty. Should have cleaned it before I started filming, but you know, I'm too lazy to. So yeah, and also I have my camera in a very compromising position, so if this falls over, wish me luck. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn the stove to um, low to medium heat. All right, and you can start whisking. And while you're doing that, add the chocolate that we have into the mixture. And basically you're gonna stand here and mix it, have the chocolate all melted. And when you start to see it bubble and become thick, that's when we're gonna um, turn off the stove. So be patient, give this a couple of minutes. It's gonna melt down, it's gonna start thickening. All right, when everything's fully, fully melted and it's getting to a point where you're kinda of seeing um, steam come out of the pot you could turn it up a little bit higher but just remember keep stirring don't um, put your whisk down because you don't want it to scorch on the bottom so keep an eye on it keep mixing okay I'm at a point right now where I can actually feel it thickening you can actually see it thickening too so this is perfect, this is, a, this is what you wanna see. And 
you're gonna wait until it starts bubbling and after it starts bubbling you're definitely finished all right so at this point give it a maybe give it a, a minute before you turn off the stove but you're pretty much done so let that boil a little bit keep stirring keep stirring all right so that's it turn off your stove easy peasy all right so now that it's off the heat i'm going to give it a little bit of a mix i don't know how people cook while holding a camera this is really dangerous i wish i had a cameraman um yeah kids don't don't do what i'm doing i'm not the prime example of safety right now i'm gonna actually transfer this into a uh better pouring i guess a pouring a measuring cup so that i can pour it into my bowls easily okay guys so now I'm going to transfer my custard pudding into a more pourable bowl or pourable cup. And I'm going to pour them into these cute little jars. All right, these I basically saved from yogurts that I bought from before. I used to make fun of my mom for like hoarding these things because, you know, they, they kind of take up a lot of space in your cupboard, but when you need them, they're perfect. So I'm gonna individually pour like that, okay? Do you guys have that kind of uh, habit where you save these cute jars? Let me know, because Honestly, these are the cutest little things ever. Sometimes I don't even like the yogurt. I just buy it for the freaking, for the freaking jar. <laughs> spatula to the rescue. Okay. Yeah, have a, have a spatula on hand. It'll make your life much easier. Also, if you let this sit too long, it does form a little bit of a skin on top. So don't worry about that. Just kind of mix it. Mix it a little, it'll go away. Oh, let me get the last of this before if someone, or if my mom sees this video, she's gonna be like, you left so much stuff in the bowl. All right, there you go. Yeah, it thickens, oops, it thickens pretty quickly, so. Work with it as fast as you can. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh well, I'll clean it up later. Nothing a sponge and water can't you know, get rid of. All right, so for something like this that looks kind of weird on top, cause you know, I let it sit too long. Um, make sure when you're pouring it, do it as fast as you can. Don't let it sit too long, but take a utensil, a spoon or something and just kind of go like this to the top. You know, if you really want to be presentable about it, you know, tap it out on the table and it'll look really nice on the top. But later on, we're gonna actually dust these with cocoa powder on the top anyways. So it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna really matter. But if you really want a flatter surface on the top, just kind of smooth it out like that, tap it out on the table. All right, this one's wonky, but whatever. That one I'll probably, test eat later all right so in the last clip you probably saw a mess everywhere i try to clean it up because you know i want to look presentable but you know it's not really baking unless you're a little bit messy well at least in my kitchen um so yeah let this sit out at room temperature until it cools down to rule to room temperature because you don't want to bring down the temperature of your refrigerator and spoil everything in your refrigerator then you're going to put these in the fridge for six hours Yes, six hours, but look, you don't have to do anything. You just gotta let it sit for six hours. So I'll see you in six hours.
All right guys, so the tasting part is finally here. I've let these sit for a couple of hours and let me tell you, that recipe was so easy. Um, if I wanted to break it down and make it even more simple, I would tell you put everything in a pot, let it come to a boil, put everything in separate mason jars and let it sit in the refrigerator. That's literally what it is. And voila, you have your, your perfect dessert, your perfect simple dessert. Um, so what I did extra so that it make so it makes it look like I put some effort into it is made some sweet whipping cream. So take whipped cream or you know heavy cream and some confectioner sugar, put as much sugar as you want in it and whip it up until firm and then put some cocoa powder over it and that's what you get. So let's get tasting. All right, so let me grab one from the side so I don't mess up my lovely display here. All right, mmm, yummy. Ooh, look at that. Get a little bit of everything. Mmm. That's so good. It's so rich that you think there's eggs in there, but there is no eggs in there. And it's so delicious. It's so decadent. Yeah, that, that is a really, really good dessert and so simple to make. So yeah, that's it guys. If you like what I did today, thumbs up. Give me some sex, no, some, some sex. Give me some, okay, wait. If you like what I did today, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and leave some comments down below. Remember, always end the day with something sweet and I'll see you next time. Bye. But I'm